Probability of events that are not mutually exclusive. Can you name events which are not mutually exclusive? What does it mean? It means that they, if there are two events, then there is some overlap in between. Those events are not mutually exclusive. Now we'll see with the help of example and try to understand how the event is not mutually exclusive. Now here is an example. A die is being rolled. Find the probability of rolling a number less than 3 or an even number. Now let's try to understand this question. When we say rolling a number less than 3, it means what? It means that the numbers could be 1 or 2. So these two numbers are less than 3. Correct? Now the second one is probability of rolling an even number. So what are even numbers? Even numbers are 2, 4 and 6. Right? Do you see some overlapping in this case? So what you observe here is that the number 2 repeats. Do you see that? So it's common. So if I try to find probability of less than 3, then I'm including 2. And if I try to find what's the probability of rolling even number, I'm also including this probability, right? So the probability of getting 2 comes 2 times. is duplicated. So in such cases, so this is not mutually exclusive. Do you see? If we are considering this particular event and the other event, there is something common in between. It, it's like this. It's like this. Uh, let's say this is the probability of less than 3 and then we have probability of even numbers like this, right? Then what are the even numbers and what are less than 3 numbers? So the even numbers will be 2, 4 and 6 and less than 3 numbers will be 1 and 2. Do you see that? 1 and 2. Now 2 is common. So basically when we are trying to find probability of less than 3 or even, or means plus, right? So or means plus. So what we will do is we'll translate it. In other words, or means plus, and less than three will be. There are two numbers less than three, and when you roll a die, there are six options. There are six outcomes, right? So total outcomes are six, and therefore we can say it is two out of six. That is less than three, right? So this is the probability of less than three or even numbers. So what is the probability of even numbers? There are three even numbers. So the probability of even numbers is 3 out of 6. There are three even numbers out of 6. But what do we see here? We see that the probability of getting 2 has been counted both ways. It is not a mutually exclusive case. So we should take out that, right? So what is the probability of getting 2? is 1 out of 6. So we have to subtract that to get the real answer. So in all the cases where the events are not mutually exclusive, what do we do is probability we add up, add probability of events and then take away probability of common events. So that is the strategy to solve such problems, correct? So this is how we are going to do it. So now this can be written as 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 minus 6 is 4. So we get 4 out of 6, which could be simplified and written as 2 over 3. So the probability of rolling a number less than 3 or an even number is 2 over 3. I hope you understand how we got this answer, right? Now, for you as an exercise, find the probability of number at least 3 or even. So find this answer. And also explain me how this is different from that. Less than 3, this is at least 3. So make a note of this and try to do this question. You should get a different answer. And let me know if you have difficulty. Thank you and all the best.